So I want to make today's video a bit more interactive than usual. Uh, and I think it's a quite an interesting topic, maybe even a bit controversial. Um, it's the piropos. So just to give a short summary, a piropo in Spanish also in general means uh, a compliment or a cat call or uh, a pickup line or anything in, in that uh, direction. And well, these things are a little controversial nowadays. But in uh, traditional tango culture, especially in Buenos Aires, this is still very much a thing. And I also believe, and you know, I'm not a man, so it's also hard to and a bit uh, strange to talk about this topic from the perspective of a man. Um, but I believe this is generally valued by women who dance tango um, because these things they hear, they tend to be not very vulgar or anything uh, like what happens on the streets sometimes. Um, but it's actually, um, yeah, something uh, they like about this about this culture. And of course, I always have a few questions, like, for example, in this case, question, to what extent does it happen outside of Buenos Aires? But that's the point of my video today being a bit more interactive than usual. I would like to hear your experiences with piropos or compliments, just in English. Um, and I think this is going to be mostly a video for the ladies um because i think they are mostly the ones who get compliments um but um another question i have is does this also happen the other way around and especially in argentina uh, i might have to make a spanish version of this as well to find out but yes i'm curious to hear from you what you think in general about this um about this topic um but especially my focus is like What's the, the the most fun piropo you've ever, or the most, the nicest one you've ever received? Uh, and I think I'll get some, uh, well, I hope I'll get some answer from the ladies uh, with that one. Um, but maybe also from guys. And um, yeah, just so, just to clarify a little bit. So the piropo usually happens between songs on the dance floor. And it could be anything um, from like some standard pickup line that I personally don't really enjoy, but I know some women really enjoy that um, in the context of uh, tango, at least. Um, but it could also be a compliment of your dancing or a compliment of the way you look or the way you dress um, as a woman or, um, yeah, just, just uh, I think something I read when I searched for piropos uh, with some extra keywords, I, I, I found something like, uh, this dance was so good. So the quote is, this dance was so good that I'm not going to dance with anyone else today, something like that. So it could be anything. Um, and yeah, because I'm a, I'm a guy, you know, if I were a woman, I would probably be able to write a book about this topic. But uh, as a guy, I, I'm not actually so sure how big this, this is, uh, even from Argentine women. And I cannot really remember a lot of things myself. Um, but um, I guess uh, I wanted to share one. So that's the question, right, of the video, of the video title. What's your very favorite uh, piropo? So I'll tell you one, which might not be necessarily the piropo like between the dances, but it still was very funny. Um, so one day I went to a, a milonga that was actually hosted in the Lodi Celia venue, but was not traditionally um, uh, linked to Lodicelia and the dance level was a bit lower than Lodicelia. Um, but I went anyway because I wanted to see how it was like. And at that moment, Lodicelia itself was in a crisis and the milongas in general were quite empty. And I thought this one would be a bit more populated. Well, quite empty is not, but it was, it, it, yeah, it just not, not, not full enough to be really fun the way it is, for example, now again with Johnny and Norma. Um, but so I went. And I don't even remember how much, how long I stayed there, whether I actually danced. Like, I think um, I didn't like it so much because of the dance level of the guys and the floor crap. But um, I think some, like I talked to some old lady, uh, maybe not too old, like 70 or something was my guess or is my guess right now. But I, um, for some reason, I talked to her, she talked to me. Um, Maybe it was between the dances that's possible. It's just a bit fake in my memory, or it was on the like at the, um, like in the hallways of the of the of the um, just like um, behind the seats. Um, and she uh, she said this. Uh, she said, 
todas quieren bailar con vos porque sos lindo, joven y bailas bien. And for those who don't understand Spanish, uh, that means um, all the women here want to dance with you because you're young, handsome, and you dance well. And I don't remember the exact um, um, uh, order of that, but the uh, bailar bien, the you dance well, was at the end. Um, and I was like, um, I just couldn't believe my ears that that someone would say something like this uh, in a good way, because it can also be in a bad way, of course, that's human communication. But this was just so hilarious. Um, but I had to keep a straight face um, because she had it very straight. She, she said it. She said it as a compliment. At least I think it was not uh, even a, like she didn't even look like it was funny to her. And of course, this is also a bit of a cultural difference between a boring Dutchman and someone from Argentina. But um, Yeah, I think um, I can mention a few more uh, things that happened, but this is uh, absolutely uh, the most interesting one I've received. Well, maybe one more. It's probably not even meant as a piropo or anything, um, um, but um, I danced with someone as well in Lodecelia or in Obelisco Tango. And I told her about something about tango or about my interest in At some point, she said, like, with a very serious face, and I think it was it was not a, a compliment or something. It was just a, um, only getting the Dutch word in. Like, it was just a, 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 an observation. Um, she said, um, I think you have a very rich inner world. Um, and uh, I think that's true. I'm, I'm uh, quite an introverted guy, and uh, I like um, living in my own head, so to say. Even though, uh, if you don't watch out, that can also uh, be very uh, counterproductive in life. So you have to be careful not to be uh, too stuck too much in um, in your thoughts. Or, but um, yeah, I don't think that was a bonus one. I don't think that's that that should be considered a real a piropo. But the the first one I told you was, it's I still think it's hilarious. It was not probably not meant to be funny, but. Uh, Anyway, let, let me hear about your uh, piropos. And I'm really curious whether I might do an extra video if I don't get any re reactions from men, because I really want to know how that's like as well. But in general, I think the most uh, interesting people to ask this are the women, because they have a lot of stories like that. And uh, like, again, I said in the beginning, I wonder if it also happens outside Buenos Aires that much. It's, um, it's a cultural thing. Okay, see you.